There's an old Japanese custom called age of 13 visit. A child who reaches 13 years old by the traditional system of age reckoning visits a specific local shrine to receive wisdom. The important event has one critical role. The 13-year-old visitor should never look back until they pass through the shrine's gate after the visit. If it happens, wisdom they've just gotten is returned. Every time a topic of the visit was brought up by some chance in my childhood, my mother would strictly instruct me not to look back when my visit came. It had become a repeated threat for me. After those years, I reached 11 years old, which is 13 by the traditional system, and the day for the visit arrived. I was so tensed and nervous because of years of my mother's threat. I got dressed up with kimono and my mother put a wig on my hair to make me look grown up. While I was greedy enough to look forward to getting wisdom, I was anxious about looking back as much. From the moment we left home, my mother kept reminding me not to look back at the shrine. As the pressure had accumulated, a sense of panic had been built inside of me. By the time we prayed at the altar in the shrine and started leaving, I was panicky. On the spot about only several yards to the exit gate, I couldn't stop myself and looked over my shoulder. I blundered away my once-in-a-lifetime visit. My mother made sure I didn't look back when we passed the gate. I lied and said no. On our way home, we dropped by my aunt's house. She noticed that I was wearing a wig. But when she pointed it out, my mother instantly denied it. I didn't understand why she had to lie about such a small thing like a wig, but she just insisted it was my real hair. My aunt slipped beside me when we were about to leave and asked me if it was a wig. Although I said yes indifferently, she triumphantly uttered, I knew it. She sounded as if she had beaten me and I felt annoyed. I hated my mother's totally unnecessary lie. And as for me, I went through a terrible teenage life with my own trifling lies. I believe that was because I had returned wisdom at the shrine on my age of 13 visit. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. I wrote about my decision and the first plan for it. Last year, I spent fairly much time pondering whether I live in Japan for the rest of my life or settle in US for my music career. I used to live in the States for music and returned to Japan temporarily. This temporary homecoming turned out to become much longer than I had expected and have lasted to this day because of rapid advances in computer technology and the internet. It's now possible to work for the US music market while living in Japan through the internet. Songs and books are easily released and promoted. More new tools and gadgets could be introduced, so that physically staying in US could be unnecessary. Above all, life in this small town of Japan, which is secluded from the city by the mountains, is suitable for creative work. It's so hustle-free that I deeply concentrate on my work. Since I moved in here, my working pace has been good and steady. I feel I have finally found a perfect environment to work on music. On the other hand, I'm always afraid of settling down. Anyone who stops would die. I would lose motivation for writing a song unless I move forward even by a small step. For this year, I decided to visit the States for the first time in years. I know its cost is a prodigious sum of money for me and it requires mountainous troublesome arrangements. I also know too well that after those efforts, what awaits me are an excruciatingly long flight, murderous jet lag, and countless unpleasant incidents. Still, I need to breathe in California air. My anxieties for money, health and the future never go away but I think I can manage as long as I stay positive and look ahead. My mind was made up. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. Audiobook, The Family in Kyoto, One Japanese Girl Got Freedom by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple Books, Google Play, Audible, 43 available distributors in total. Audiobook, Living in Kyoto by Hitomi Woods. Now on sale in online stores. 44 available distributors. Apple, Google Play, 
Amazon Audible, or else. ヒデミウッズがデザインしたとってもかわいいオリジナルグッズが手に入るトートバッグ缶バッジステッカー T シャツトレーナーパーカー文具その他いろいろエリゼンドットコムで見てみてね ERIZEN.com ERIZEN.com エリゼンドットコム英語聞き流しリスニング、英語テキストと MP3 ダウンロード、その他の物語はホームページからお聞きいただけます。88thpp.com 88thpp.com